Max Headroom Review, Body Banks. The third episode of Max Headroom, titled Body Banks, deals with the concept of corpses as commodities. Gone for most are the days of burial. Now the dead are harvested for their limbs, flesh, and organs at body banks. Reina and her boyfriend Mel are on their way home from making a blood donation at one such body bank when they are waylaid by Bruegel and Mahler, two ghouls who are looking to make a fast buck by selling Reina to the body banks. Mel and Reina put up a good fight before Mel is knocked out by Mahler and Bruegel subdues Reina to take a skin sample for testing. Pleased by the results, Bruegel carries Reina to his van and takes her to the body banks. Mel, not being able to afford law, seeks out Edison Carter going as far as to kidnap Theora and force her to lead him to Edison's apartment. Edison rescues Theora and then demands that Mel explain himself. It, it turns out that Reina has a certain pituitary organ type that matches that of a wealthy woman who has been kept alive with the pituitary glands of unwilling donors. The significance of the woman, known only as mother or the mother, is never revealed. However, she is so important that former Network 23 board member Plantagenet, that Formby goes as far as kidnapping Network 23 research and development head Bryce Lynch in an attempt to force him to perform the Max Headroom process on her to preserve her mind. After Mel describes Bruegel and Mahler to Edison, Theora uses the network's Theogenes program to put together a pair of sketches to use for identification. Knowing that these two men have been last seen in the fringes, Edison asks the help of Rick, a blank rickshaw driver, who brings Edison to meet Blank Ridge, searching for him first in the home of Ridge's blind girlfriend, Poncho, after hiding Edison's Vidicam under a blanket in the rickshaw. Reg is not at Poncho's, and when they get back to the rickshaw, the camera isn't there either. Back at Network 23, Cheviot is ready to tear out every gray hair in his head. Six Seconds requested Max Headroom for their new ad campaign, and Max won't play ball unless Edison answers a few questions. Trouble is, of course, that Edison is not there, and nobody can contact him because of what they perceive to be technical issues with his camera. At big time... Paula, the blank girl who stole Edison's camera, trades to the rare for blanks device for a pair of VHS tapes, this was the 80s folks, and a book, or as Reg calls it, a non-volatile storage medium. Shortly after, Rick brings Edison to big time where Ed Reg identifies Bruegel and Mahler and returns Edison's Vidicam. After a talking to from a furious Cheviot, Edison finally talks to Max about what's been bothering the computer-generated personality, which turns out to be a simple, simply be a lost memory that Max could not account for. In the meantime, Bryce, pretending to access the Max Headroom program, contacts Network 23, letting, Edith, letting Theora know his and Rena's location, facilitating her rescue. Formby eventually catches him at it, but by this time, help is on the way. 